Hello, I'm Joel Rennick, founder and creator of Nomad. And I wanted to give you a quick overview of a cool new feature we have coming up in Nomad Login Plus. So this is our login window authentication plugin. Uh, it can do authentication back to a cloud identity in Okta and uh, create user accounts on your local Mac based upon that uh, identity. What we wanted to also do was to kind of give you a bit of a migration path. Uh, so you may have some users that have some creative or maybe not so creative local account names. In this particular case, we've got a user called Fluffy Bunny. Um, this is a local account that's been created. Uh, this does not exist in Okta. And we can do a couple of things. If we do an ID here, you can see that I'm Fluffy Bunny 72 to be exact. Uh, there were 71 others that, uh, that we have. So this is the 72nd. Uh, if I do an ID on Joel, you can see that this is a local user admin. Uh, this is what we use to manage the system. So there's a Joel account on this machine as well. And if I do an ID on Jay Rennick, you can see that there's no such user. This will become a little bit more important in a little bit. Um, if we go over here to Keychain Access, you can see that we've got an entry in the Keychain here called Joel was here. This is uh, again going to become important later, but uh, just to let you know that we've got something in the Keychain and we want to make sure it's there when this process is all the way through. So what we've done is we've enabled a migration flag at the Nomad Login Plus uh, login window. So if I go out here and go out and log out. So here's our branded Nomad Login uh, login screen. And if I come over here and I try to sign in as that local user, putting in my correct username and password, it's going to deny me because now we've forced all authentications to either go directly to Okta or to make sure that the user has already been migrated and has a migrated flag associated with them. Uh, another cool feature I'd like to bring your attention to here is we can now show a web browser here at the login window. And so if you're going to be doing an onboarding for a new user, they'll be able to go in, sign into Okta, maybe reset a temporary password, and actually enroll any sort of MFA functionality in here through this web browser. It can make for a really, really nice onboarding experience before you then allow the user to sign into the Mac. So I'm now going to go into here and I'm going to sign in with an Okta account that I have. It's going, let me get the password right. So now I've got, uh, it's prompting me for multi-factor. So I'm gonna pick Octopush and that's gonna choose it for me. So I'm getting the push on my phone. So I'm approving, letting myself in. Now it lets me decide if I wanna migrate a user. So there's two accounts here. Notice the Joel account isn't here because that was already created based upon Octa credentials. So I've got Fluffy Bunny 72 which I can pick. I can um, type in the right password. If I type in the wrong one and hit OK, it won't let me through. But if I type in the right one, uh, and also I can do a cancel, which would stop the whole authentication process, or don't migrate, which would create a brand new account for the J Rennick user, the Okta account that I just signed in with. So I'm going to type in the right password, hit OK. It's now validating the password. It is updating my account password and it's taking the old and new passwords and updating my keychain password as well. So when all of this is done, I'm still gonna have the same local user. Notice that it still says Fluffy Bunny up in the right hand corner. And if I go into the terminal and do an ID on myself, I'm still Fluffy Bunny. But if I do an ID on Jay Rennick, you can see I'm the same user we've added an alias to the local user account with the name of the Okta account that we've associated with it. So this way the user can now sign into the Mac either as Fluffy Bunny or as Jay Rennick. So either one is acceptable, but the password now has been reset to the actual Okta password and not the local account password that it once was. If I go into Keychain Access, you can see that we still have that same Joel was here password with the Fluffy Bunny 72 account. Also notice another cool feature of Nomad Login Plus 1.2 is that we've actually pre-created the Nomad Pro account. So if you're using Nomad Pro to do your day-to-day -day synchronization instead of just the login window, we can actually create an account in the keychain with your Okta credential so the user doesn't have to retype in their account. Some really cool stuff there. So that's in the keychain. And if I go into directory utility and actually take a look at this user record, uh, scroll down to Fluffy Bunny. We have a new user attribute. 
In this user account, we've actually associated the user jrenic. This is the Okta identity that you've used to authenticate here and to migrate to. And we've got an Okta user uh, attribute in this. So now if you're ever questioning if a user is really fluffy bunny 72 or maybe their Okta identity is something different, you can use DSCL and some of the other accounts to actually, or some of the other tools, excuse me, to actually find that out. So it's a very cool way of kind of gluing everything together. The home directory stays the same. The UID stays the same. All of those things stay the same. We've just created an alias to this account with that user's Okta username. So hopefully this was informative and it's just a sampling of some of the really cool stuff that we have coming. Very excited. Uh, Nomad Login Plus 1.2 should be out at the end of May. We're looking to coincide with Okta's Octane Conference. If you are going to be in Vegas, please drop by and say hello. We'd love to chat uh, and love to show off kind of some of the other new features that we have. Thanks for watching.